Hello! What you're about to see was filmed around seven months ago. This was one of these projects that got kind of started and then put aside for about seven months. This is part two in a series of probably four videos of a complete noob. This guy attempting to refinish a guitar for the first time. Ever. In this episode, it's removing the poly finish. And it's not been as easy as some of the YouTube tutorial videos that I watched in preparation for this. They made it look pretty easy. Although that's more than likely been user error. The part one video, link in the description, was the disassembly of the guitar, which also didn't go without its problems. And that one was definitely user error. Okay, so on to seven months ago, removing the finish. Mistakes were made. Here we go. Hello. So it's part two. I've got the better mic set up this time. Hopefully that's made a difference. I've got this Von Haus heat gun that I got from Amazon for like 20 quid. So as mentioned before, I have no idea what I'm doing. First time ever. This heat gun's only got two settings. One and two. So yeah. I don't know where I'm going to start. The back, the front. I'm just going to wing it. So I'm going to stick on a YouTube live stream. I think Phil McKnight this time. Why not? And see if I can get any of this paint off. I've also got this selection of plastic scrapers, so hopefully some of that will work right. I'll speed up the process because otherwise it'll be really boring. So I've heard a good place to start might be at the strap button because there's a wee hole there. So either there or inside the cavities. We'll try some out and see what happens. I'm going to start with setting number one. Not much success with setting one so far, probably should have gave it a bit more time. But anyway, let's go to setting two, try that out. Stick the podcast back on. So yeah, uh, setting two seems to be the way to go, we're getting some off, but I don't think I'm getting all the way down to the wood yet. Um, some of the rubbery, plasticky paint's coming off, but yeah, not all the way down to the wood yet, I don't think. I'll keep experimenting, we're getting there. Okay, a couple of things. I'm going to put uh, some protection on because I can smell it's a little bit toxic in here. Uh, and then next thing is, I think I'm going to start attacking from the back just because if I make a mess, then at least it's on the back. Uh,
Okay, so here's what's letting me down so far. It's the tools, these things. They seem to be, the edges of them are melting as I put them onto the hot paint. Um, so yeah, that gets the first little bit off and then after that, because I've melted them, um, it's not working too well. Carrying on, uh, by the way it's taken a lot longer than I thought. Here we go. I've seen loads of YouTube videos of people just blasting through this but it's definitely not the case. Maybe something to do with this finish, it's kind of, the paint's kind of rubbery, I don't know if that's normal. Let's see what happens. Right, this is a big struggle. I'm starting to get a wee bit better. I'm not sure. I'm, I think I might see a glue seam um, of the body, so try to be cautious of that. Um, okay, don't have the technique quite down yet, but we're getting there. I think shortly I might turn the camera off uh, just because it's a bit <sighs> soul destroying. Uh, it's hard going doing it. I can only imagine what it's like to watch it, so. Uh, Okay, I'm giving up on the camera. It's just, it's, uh, it's a bit too hot in here with the lights. 
and uh, the gun going and ah, it's just too much and uh, I'm struggling to get going. I'm going to keep going at the back for a bit. If I manage to get a good technique down, um, I'll put the camera back on again for the front. But for now, oh, I am disheartened. Disheartened. I know that's done to my technique and lack of experience, or lack of technique and lack of experience, but... Hmm... Thanks for watching, so far. Okay, so we update. Look at the mess of this. <laughs> right, so I used too much heat, I could tell, and it melted the paint. I took off the poly, but the paint stayed on. And then I watched some YouTube tutorials and it said, don't use the metal thing, you'll scratch the wood. These scratches actually didn't come up last night. I, could s I didn't see them last night, but I could see them today. They're pretty bad. Maybe we'll iron them out. We'll figure that out later on. But anyway, learning a lot. I've made a mess, but learning a lot. Carrying on. Right, so here's a bit of an update on what we've learned so far. Quite a lot. I got a bit stressed out attempting this yesterday. I'd made a lot of mistakes. Basically, I'd watched a load of YouTube tutorials months ago about uh, refinishing a guitar and removing the finish with a heat gun. And it all looked really easy. So I just kind of had it in my head what to do, but I didn't really look again before starting. That was a couple of months ago. So when I started again, trusting my dodgy memory, looks like I'd missed out some vital techniques. So mistakes made were uh, I've applied too much heat and what it's done is it's took off, well, I hadn't took off this yet, this is all the paint came off. It basically melted the paint. That's a lot of birds outside, can you hear that? Hey guys. Anyway, so I'd used too much heat and I've melted the paint. I took the poly off but melted the paint, so that wasn't good. And using the plastic scrapers, I was right enough, they kept melting the ends, probably because I was using too much heat. So I changed it up a little bit. Well, what I did was I paused the video and then I went and checked some tutorials again and I realised my mistakes. So what I ended up doing was uh, using this attachment that came with the heat gun, which is metal. And most people say don't use metal scrapers because you'll damage the finish of the wood. So yeah, I ignored that and I used the metal scraper and it started to come off a lot better, but then I couldn't see these um, scars in the wood, sort of chunks that I took out. Don't know if you'll be able to see them, but couldn't really see them last night, but I could see them much clearer today. Also another thing, I was using cardboard, you might have noticed, um, and the guitar was sliding about all over the place. I've now changed that using these bench cookies. I'm going to put a link in the description to these. I noticed Crimson Guitar uses these and they're, wow, what a godsend. So much easier to work with. They're quite cheap and really, really handy, so link in the description, check them out. So I'm going to attempt to do some more. Um, see how we get on. I think I've pretty much made quite a mess of the back and ruined it. Um, but it's all learning experience. Speaking of experience, that's what I've learned from this. It doesn't matter how many YouTube videos you watch or how well prepared you are. It's only experience that will get you better at this. Trial and error, trying different techniques, making mistakes. I'm making plenty of them, but it's a good laugh, is it? Luckily this guitar was only like £91. It's no excuse, but better experimenting with this than something else. Okay, carrying on. Okay, so at this point I had to give up on the heat gun. It was a disaster. I'd burnt the wood and the paint wasn't coming off as easy as I'd seen in some of the tutorial videos. Some of these tutorials I'd watched, it had people just applying a wee bit of heat and then just peeling off the finish absolutely cleanly. Tum de tum, with the paint coming off like it was peeling an orange. This is orange. This was not my experience, although I'm pretty sure it was probably my technique. I was probably applying too much heat, or maybe there's something different about the finish of this guitar, but I've got nothing to compare it to with no prior experience in doing this. I did try using less heat and different distances from the body, but it did absolutely nothing to penetrate or loosen up the finish. The only time I could get through was when I could see the finish actually burning, but the plastic spatulas, I should have got silicone, were melting, and the metal scraper at the end of the heat gun was way more effective at getting the paint off, but it was causing too much damage to the wood, scarring, etc. So I moved on to 
a power sander. And here's how that went. I was absolutely over the moon with the results of the power sander compared to the heat gun. I basically achieved like four times the results in about a quarter of the time. So, maths equations. I wish I'd started with the sander, but you live and learn. Although I hadn't got all of the finish off, maybe about 90%. And that last 10% was an absolute nightmare to get off as it was in all the curves and contours and I had to do all that by hand well, with sandpaper in my hand not just by hand, that would have took a long time but it still took about 3 hours and my hand was absolutely aching by the end of it it was probably not a good idea to do that the day before a gig so I just took that last 10% off yesterday a mere 7 months later and I took the opportunity while I was at it to take some more mass off of the contours for two reasons one was to get through to the sort of damage that I'd made with the burning the wood and the scraper damage which had made some scarring of the wood and secondly I could take a bit more wood off to make the guitar a little bit more lightweight overall so it was a bonus, I'm pretty happy with how that worked out and I do still have to go over this another few times with some finer grades of sandpaper before it's ready to take the paint and if you're wondering if I'm going to take the original paint off uh, where the routing is no way because I just can't be fucked. One of the reasons that this project was left on hold for several months was that I hadn't figured out or decided how I was going to paint it. The original plan was to use spray cans, but with the Scottish summer well and truly over, if it even existed in the first place, 
Painting outside in a wind, dust, rain-free environment was going to be tricky, near impossible. And I don't have any suitable space at home or a garage or anything to hang the guitar for spraying. I even went to join my local men's shed, which is literally like a two minute walk from my house, but the only day that they're open is a day that I'm at work. So that wasn't an option either. But I did find a solution to all of these problems, thanks to this guy. So I ended up removing all the spray paint that I'd put on it, all the poly finish that took me the longest time to do, and then I applied this bolt finishing system. So it took me a while to get everything right, bit by bit, layer by layer, coat by coat. At, after a couple of days of doing it, I was able to do it, and then I put the uh, matte finish. That yesterday I took this to Gem Night. I played for an hour, and it didn't become sticky. It wasn't too glossy. It's a really comfortable guitar. And there's a link in the description for Raf's channel. Check it out. He's into kit builds and things like that. He's doing a lot of cool stuff. Worthwhile checking out. Please do let me know in the comments if you've had any experiences of any of the stages of refinishing a guitar, good or bad. Any hot tips or advice would be hugely appreciated. Although by that time, I'll probably have already completed the next steps, but it might be useful, any of your advice for anyone else who's reading the comments about to try the same thing. And hopefully they won't make the same mistakes that I made. So, in the next video in this series, part three, I'll be preparing the body for the finish and then applying the finish. So hopefully I'll see you there for that one. At some point during these videos, I would usually take an opportunity to ask you to subscribe to the channel. But after this ordeal experience, I think it's very unlikely that I'm going to be making similar videos to this one, so I can't promise you more like this. But you can still subscribe if you want, or hit like or something, if you liked it. If you didn't like it, don't hit like. Hit dislike. Okay, if you got this far, thanks for watching. Until next time, see you later!